Hello, Jeff Sauer here, and today we have a doozy. I'm going to be talking to you about getting more leads from your existing traffic using some tools that I like to use almost every single day, and that is Google Analytics, Lead Pages, and Active Campaign. So I'm here recording this video for you. Obviously, this is me, and I'm going to tuck myself down into this little corner now, and I'll be there for the rest of this video. You can see me as I'm going, but I want to make sure that we put as much attention as possible onto the presentation itself. So let's talk about how do we get more leads leads from our existing traffic. And the question I have to ask you is who wants more leads? Well, obviously everybody wants leads, right? Well, who doesn't have the time to go out and get more leads? They're like, okay, I've already spent all my time creating content. It's so much work to do this. I don't have the time to do it. Oh yeah, everybody as well, right? Well, I have one more question for you. Who's down with OPP? Every last homie. Okay, I can't resist. That's a terrible <laughs> joke. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't resist though. So who wants to get more leads with five minutes of work? Okay, well then let's make it easy. Let's make this happen. So today what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about how you can get more leads from your existing traffic, where you should look in Google Analytics in order to find weak spots in your content strategy. Then we're gonna get into why content upgrades and lead boxes are what rocks my world. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put these ideas into action, why getting more leads doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get more sales, the importance of follow through, and then we're going to talk about the exact tools that I use to get it all done. And if you're interested about reading more about this in addition to this video, I did write an article about how I got these 10 extra leads per day, but it was really just sort of a written form article. And this is just going to give you some more depth and it's going to be a little bit more interactive to share exactly how this works. And so the first step is we need to look at our Google Analytics. So I'm going to log into Google Analytics right now and I'm going to show you what I look at in order to do the first step of this process. Okay, here we are in Google Analytics through the magic of editing and we're on the content report. So you look in the behavior, site, content, we're looking at all of our pages. And now this is for a certain period of time. This is all the traffic that's coming into Jeffalytics. And you can see there's some, some pages that are doing extremely well. Actually, there's quite a few pages that are doing really well. And these pages are getting traffic mostly through organic search. Now, if you look on here, this is a pretty standard page report. Uh, a lot of my content has super high bounce rates, which is expected when you're really heavily involved with organic search. I'm not too worried about it. The thing I want to draw your attention to here is the page value. Now I've, I've set up goals on my website to track when positive actions occur on my site, which is the fundamental of Google Analytics and something that everybody should be doing is setting up goals to track when positive things happen and giving it some kind of value. And that page value is now populated based on the value of the goals that I put into my account. And you can see here that there's a pretty, it's pretty much across the board, these page values. So some of these are very, some of these page values are very low and some are extremely high. And there's one in particular that's extremely high that I want to draw your attention to. And that's this one about the monthly report presentation template. So it's getting, you know, over the course of 30 days, it's getting 10 plus visitors a day, maybe 15 visitors a day. And it's got a relative value of $2.58. So it's the most valuable page on the site hands down. So 700% more valuable than other pages. And the bounce rate's actually pretty low relative to other things as well. And so why does this one stand out from the crowd? What the heck is happening here? Well, let me show you a little bit about how people come into this website in the context as to how they find this monthly report template. So if you go to Google and you type in monthly report presentation template for marketing or any a lot of variations of that, you see here that Jeffalytics is one of the first options that are here. And so you click on the template for marketing and we see an article that I wrote uh, about over almost two years ago now at the time that I record this. And it's basically a download a monthly report to presentation. So somebody who types in they want a presentation, this thing tells you you're going to be able to download it. And you see there's this article and we talk about how to create monthly reports. I talk about everything that goes into it. This is the reason why this report ranks well in search because it does cover like a lot. It's very, very thorough. Notice at the bottom here, there's, the, there's a button to download it. And then up here as well at the way beginning, it's download the monthly report template. And so what I've done is I've made it so that if you want to download the report template, I put it at the beginning at the end. And I added this later on. So this thing was ranking really well, or ranking well in search engines for certain terms. And then I added this to the site. And if you click on it, it brings up this thing called a lead box. And I say, turn in the end of the month, download our report, and we'll make it a breeze for you. And I didn't really think much of it when I added this, but I was like, okay, let's just see what works here. So I use lead pages, which is a software that I recommend anybody. I use lead pages to generate this lead box. 
and it's really super easy. I'll show you how this gets onto the website. But basically, I took a page that was ranking well. It was doing well. It was getting a lot of traffic. There was no, the dollar value in the past was not very high at all. And I decided to upgrade the thing. I decided why let all this traffic come to my website go away? Why not get something out of it? And so I just looked at this thing and I looked at this page and I decided why don't I make it so you can download the template and make it super easy to do that. So you click on this thing. You just need to give me your name and email address and then you are in the monthly report template. And so how did I make that happen? How did I get that to work? Well, here we go. So I'm now in lead pages and we're looking at something called lead boxes. And lead boxes are a way for you to essentially pop up the different boxes on your website when a trigger happens. Now, I'm going to show you that there's the monthly report template and then I changed the integration actually to be now to my active campaign, which is my current email provider. And this is doing really well. So of the people who see this lead box that we're looking at here, of the people who see this, 55% of the people who see that will give me their email address and opt in in order to download the template. 55% is a very strong percentage of conversion, very strong. The person who's, who's looking for a template is very motivated and they're willing to give away their email address in order to get a download. And so what happens is if you go into your lead pages and I, I'm gonna edit this template, basically it, it has everything that we just saw on our screen. It's just that I can make edits to it and make upgrades to it. And so when we get into lead pages, we see here's exactly what was on the website, the name. I can integrate it with other functionality. So I have an integration section. I'm integrating with my active campaign account. I'm saying that I want to use the list called monthly report template. So that's how they, I know that somebody downloaded the report template. I can show which fields that I want to have show up on this box. The more information you, you re request, the less your success rate is going to be, but also it might be necessary for your business. And then I get to deliver a lead magnet. And so lead pages does this for me. They basically deliver the template. So it's just a PowerPoint file that I uploaded to lead pages servers. Every time that somebody gives their email address, lead pages will send them an email with the download. And so that's our way of safeguarding and making sure that the people who give us their email address are giving us a legitimate email address. We're pretty confident that that conversion rate is coming from the right people. And then in addition to that, the last thing is when somebody goes to my thank you page, I have a thank you page on Jeffalytics for the reporting section. And I set up a goal in Google Analytics around that thank you page. And that's how I know that somebody viewed the thank you page. And that's how I get the dollar value. So here we are in my Google Analytics account looking at the different goals. And you see here when it says reporting stream opt-in in the last seven days, I have 40 people who have opted into it. So we're getting five to 10 leads a day from that lead box. And if you go there, it's configured like a simple goal. And basically if somebody goes here and they get to my reporting section and they get the thank you, I call that something that's worth a $10 value in our goals. And so when we see our dollar value at the report, that's really basically saying that one out of every four people who visit my website to go to this page will fill out that form and get that far. So everything we look at ends up being a funnel, right? So only about half the people who visit this site even click on this, which is still a high percentage, but half the people who visit click on this button. And then half of the people who see this box fill that out. We have a 25% conversion rate from our search traffic. And anybody who's been in this game for a long time knows that that's a really high percentage conversion rate from there. Now, this is cool, right? I now have somebody's email address and I could just stop there. And, I, and for years, I just stopped there and said, okay, I have somebody's email address. One of these days, I'm going to build out my email campaign. I'm going to build up my email program and I'm going to make that better. Well, this year is the year that I'm putting that into action. And what I've done is I use something called Active Campaign, and I've now created an automation where if somebody gets into my reporting list, if, they've, if they did the monthly report template, they get a series of emails. So they get a welcome email. They get several emails talking about reporting, analytics, all these different things. And then eventually I start to tell them about other things that I have available. I tell them about my analytics course that's for sale. I tell them about the different templates that they can download that are premium templates that they have to pay for. And basically I'm building a relationship now with somebody from search traffic. And the reason why I love this strategy and the reason why this strategy works so well is because you're, you're taking things a step further and constantly evolving the program. And so obviously I love this strategy because it takes things to the next level. Step one is having Google Analytics in place. Second step is to do a content upgrade. Most people don't even get this far. They don't even do the content upgrade. They don't have anything in place. The third step is to have some kind of delivery vehicle when you do have that content upgrade. So investing in something like lead pages, which I would recommend. People maybe get this far, but, but you'd be surprised how few people really do take advantage of that with their search traffic. Nobody gets to the point where they take this and then put it into a follow-up sequence so that then they're trying to build a relationship. And as a result, very few people are really making any kind of profit from their search traffic. 
And so you have this concept where we go through our process of getting organic search visitors. We put all this time into content marketing, all that stuff. And then we do nothing with it. We don't do anything. We have no path at all in order to turn this into a profitable endeavor. And so I wanted to teach you not only how do you get more leads because that's great to get more email addresses, but also what you need to do downstream. And so that's really the purpose of this video today is to show you how easy it is to look at your existing content and see how it's performing and then make improvements. And now I'm going to go back to our Google Analytics account and look at how one change generated so much value for the website. Imagine if I go to ones that get more traffic, the ones that are getting more value here. And so our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create another opt-in bribe or a content upgrade, lead magnet, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to do it for these articles that are on the top here. And then for this series of videos, we're going to turn that into a case study. So I'm going to show you how to create that content upgrade. It's really easy to do using like Microsoft Word and Photoshop to create a cover for it. I'm going to show you how we can get that into lead pages and then how do we put that on our website. That'll be our next video. And then we're going to check in after that and see how it performs. So if you're invested in this experience, if you want to see how all this works, you're going to be able to do it with me alongside me and we're just going to walk through this process of doing that. What did we learn today? We learned that Google Analytics is an idea machine. You can get a million ideas just from looking at your top 10 pages. Lead pages is a vital tool for email capture. There's other tools on the market that do that, but I like lead pages because it's the easiest and they really are invested in your success. Email capture needs nurturing. If you just capture the email address, yes, you are more advanced than most people who just are content with search traffic, but you're not taking things to the level that I want you to. And we're going to do a live experiment. That's the cool thing about this. Okay, so we just completed part one, which is talking about how do we get more leads. I showed you a real live case study where every seven days or so, I'm getting 40 new email addresses put into my email system, which is insane. I have to actually upgrade my email system because I'm getting so many emails now. And then what we do about it afterwards. Now, the next video is gonna show you about how you can do it and how we can do it together. I'm gonna to show you exactly how I go through this process step by step and show it on the screen. You can watch me do it. And then part three, we're gonna check in on those results. So I'm gonna let it run for a couple of weeks and just see, is it giving us the results that we're looking for? Are we doing what we want it to do? And then part four, reflection. We're gonna reflect on this. What did we learn from this experiment? Is it working? What types of content upgrades are most important? What are some things we can do to our search results pages? Just whatever we learned, we're gonna talk about that, reflect, make ourselves better. And so the next video is going to be about developing and deploying a content upgrade. Make sure that you read our companion article over at jefflytics.com slash more leads, where we're going to show you the tools we use to build this, the items that are in place, and just give you more screenshots and examples about what we have here. And I look forward to talking to you next week as we go through this live case study. Have a good one.